Hi there. So in this today's blog, I uh, just wanted to cover the five reasons why people often say no to people when looking at an opportunity, a business in network marketing. Now, one of the main reasons that people first of all say it is that they have no need for the company. At the end of the day, if you're not hungry, are you going to want to eat? Simple as that. The second reason that I'm going to point out to you is that they have no money. Now, let me get this right. This is not saying that they have no money full stop. They are saying to you they have no money for your opportunity. Now, to give you an example of the sort of things that I've come across in the past, is somebody will have bought the latest iPhone, but yet they can't afford to invest in themselves and look to the future. What that means is you haven't done your job right. If they've got a need there and you're not helping them find it, you've made an error somewhere. Third thing that we want to look at is, are they actually in a rush to do anything at the moment? Now, if somebody's broke, has no money coming in and no food in the cupboard, they're going to want to do something very rapidly. Yet, are they actually going to pull the finger out and actually do it? There are lots of people out there who've got a need for something, but just can't be bothered to actually do something about it. So have you created a need for them? Now, one of the things that I cover in the blog is the fact that people need an emotional need, not a logical one, an emotional need. I'll cover that in a minute. Fourth thing is lack of desire. Now, desire is a major thing. Let's face it, if you want something, you desire it, you'll go out of your way to get it. You may desire a Lamborghini, you may desire a Ferrari. If you've got enough want behind it, you'll aim to get one. You may not succeed, but you will aim for it. And then the big one, trust. Do you trust the company? Do you trust the person who's talking to you about it? I've had in the past where people have lied to me. Not intentionally, not necessarily, but have exaggerated things. Have said things to me that, when we've looked into it a bit deeper, are totally untrue. Now, do you think I'm going to join a company like that? Where somebody says something, because lies always come out. Let's take an example. Say, for example, you said to somebody, I gave up work after six months within this industry. And you didn't. In fact, you haven't actually given up work. You're the first person that they're trying to recruit. Guess what? Once you're recruited and they find out that you're the only person in their team, what's going to happen? Are they going to believe you when you say, do this to earn some money, do that to earn some money? Six months down the line, you're almost guaranteed they've stopped working. Because they don't trust you. Now I said I was going to mention about the emotional side of things. One of the golden rules when recruiting somebody is the fact that logic only goes so far. In actual fact, if you can talk to somebody logically about something, it does not mean they will join. They may have a need, you may have a cure for that need, but unless you can create an emotional link to that, there is no way. And you cannot do it the other way around. It has to be emotions first, and then following the emotion, then you say how they're going to do it. So let's give an example. Say somebody comes to you and they've got some children, they want to send to university. But they can't afford to. So you've got an emotional area there to work with. You can say, well, what would happen if they don't go to university? What will happen? How will they feel? That sort of question. Then you can say, well, look, I might have the answer for you. But if you say to them, I've got the answer for you, go through all that and then say to them, well, what would happen if you didn't? The chances are they've lost interest before you got to it. I'm not saying that you can't do that every single time and somebody won't go for the logical fire first. But if you produce the emotional link to begin with, you will recruit more people. Anyway, that's enough for this post, and uh, if you want to have a look at my blog, as I say, 
You either run it now, which is alanbean.net, or you'll see a link on YouTube for it. And come and have a look and have a round. You can always email me, chat to me, and join the email in link if you want. Anyway, speak to you soon. Thanks. Bye.